the northeast tip of North America, on an island called Newfoundland, there's a airport. It used to be one of the biggest airports in the world. And next to it is a town called Gander. Every person that you see on stage in the show is is either uh, a real person or is a composite of a number of people. Morning, Annette. Morning, Beulah. How's the kids? Not exactly thrilled to be inside on such a gorgeous day. Everything that we have in there, you know, is some version of what happened. Everybody in this room has a story about how they started that day. Welcome to the rock if you come from away. You probably understand about a half of what we say. I play Captain Beverly Bass. Some of the planes are parked on a runway where the surface is all torn up. That debris. Gets... She was the first female captain for American Airlines. She's this incredibly strong, beautiful pilot who was flying from Paris to Dallas on September 11th and was grounded in Gander, Newfoundland. For each destination that we What's so beautiful about Come From Away is that it is truly an ensemble piece. There are 12 actors and basically 12 chairs and we are representing thousands of people and so we have to do it together. We're switching in and out of character seamlessly. I really wanted the show to just turn on a dime and turn on a dime again. So the actors have to hold infinite different configurations and uh, people and physical relationships in their head so that they can be in one moment, turn, and be in another completely different moment. And I am back in the airport by Thursday. Everybody plays 60 to 70 different characters. So they're flipping in and out of New York and Dallas and France and Gander accents. So the actors have to have this rock solid understanding of their own language and their own dialect. All right. Where are you folks from? Uh, Texas. Well, Texas. Yeah. What part of Texas are you from, buddy? No, no, no I'm no. not from. I'm from Texas. He's from England. Well, wait. I play Nick Marson, uh, an English oil executive who was flying from London to Dallas. I assume you were American now. Well, would you like to be? <laughs> well, why not? And I play Diane Gray, who was a teacher. I have never had more than one beer at a time before, so it was probably the alcohol talking. I went and got her two more beers. They started going for walks. Yeah, she's they a They had big the walker. whole week, the whole week in Gander, so they started going for walks and they started falling for each other. It, it's just a wonderful story that something so positive came out of something so negative. And my boyfriend Colin, we're both named Colin, it was cute for a while. Anyway, Colin was not dealing with it well. I'm going to kill her. Excuse I am uh, Colin 1. And I play Colin 2. And we are boyfriends. Claustrophobic! Excuse me, would you like a Xanax? Because you're freaking out, and it is freaking me out, and we are all freaking the f*** out! Open the airplane doors! For the first part, when, when we're in Gander, we're not really sure how much we can say. We're not really sure who can, we can talk to, who we can tell about our relationship. We'd been drinking all afternoon, and I accidentally say something like Colin and I had been together for almost five years. In business. We've been together in business. I'm his sexy Terry. His secretary. And we both uh, in the show have very different comfort level, levels in terms of, uh, you know, how much we want to tell people. I'm Marco Jarius. <laughs> and I don't want to be there at all. <laughs> Come From Away is unlike any musical I've ever worked on. First and foremost, the musical palette and the musical language have not yet been really used and featured in musical theater repertoire. To all your pretty ladies waving from the dock, heave away, me jollies, heave away. And that is the Celtic folk, Celtic pop sound, but even more specifically in this show, the sound of music from Newfoundland. Well, what Come From Away offers is a chance to heal by remembering where each one of us w was on that day and what we were feeling and what we were going through. If you remember, I think a lot of the national dialogue uh, around 9-11 was just to keep on going and don't look back. And this show, I think, has allowed a lot of us to 
pause and really remember what happened and start the healing process. And, um, and remember all of the humanity that also happened on that day.